From the Detroit Free Press, I'm Robin Chan with today's voice briefing. It's Thursday, November 7th, 2024. From automotive reporter Jamie LaRoe, General Motors must once again fix its Chevrolet Bolt electric vehicles because of fire risk. The automaker had to recall 142,000 bolts globally a few years ago because of the issue. On Tuesday, the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, also known as NHTSA, posted a recall of 107 Chevrolet Bolt EVs and EUVs, which is an SUV-like styling of the vehicle, over a fire risk. This new recall covers model year 2020 through 2022 Bolt vehicles that were previously repaired for such a risk. In its post, NHTSA stated, quote, The installation of advanced diagnostic software may have failed. As such, the high-voltage battery could catch fire when charged to full or nearly full capacity, end quote. NHTSA said Chevrolet dealers will reinstall advanced diagnostic software free of charge to fix the problem. Until then, NHTSA advises owners with the impacted vehicles to take the following steps to avoid a fire risk. Set the target charge level feature in the vehicle to 90%. Charge the vehicle more frequently. Avoid depleting the battery to 70 miles of range remaining. Park outside after charging. And do not charge the vehicle indoors overnight. For more on this story, you can search on Freep.com for Jamie LaRoe's article, GM recalls some Chevy Bolts once again due to fire risk. From computational journalist Christy Tanner, a new voting record has been set in Michigan. With 98% of votes counted, more than 5.6 million people voted in the 2024 presidential election, according to unofficial results from the Associated Press. That's the most ballots cast in the state's history. According to the Michigan Department of State, more than 5.5 million Michiganders cast their ballots in the 2020 presidential election. That's 70.5% of the voting age population. Voter turnout peaked in 1960 at 72.7%. The latest census estimate for Michiganders 18 years and older is 7.9 million residents. With 98% of ballots counted, turnout as a percentage of the voting age population is currently about 70.7%. Sweeping changes since 2018 to Michigan's election law have increased voter registration and turnout. The changes include same-day voter registration, no reason absentee voting, and automatic voter registration when qualified citizens obtain a driver's license or personal identification card from the Secretary of State's office, unless they decline. Electronic voter registration, authorized by the Michigan legislature, became effective in 2019. And in-person early voting before statewide and federal elections was approved by Michigan voters in 2022. For more on this story, you can search on Freep.com for Christy Tanner's article, Michigan Voters Make History, Cast Record-Setting Number of Ballots. I'm Dante Bedingfield for the Detroit Free Press. Millions around the world know actor Robert England as iconic villain Freddy Krueger in the A Nightmare on Elm Street film series. But for a while, back in the late 1960s and early 70s, he was just another aspiring actor in Metro Detroit. Yeah, oh my. Well, you know, I keep forgetting uh, because I'm so old how long ago it was. But in but to me, it was yesterday because I have such great fond memories of working there. But yeah, I spent four and a half or five years uh, I was at uh, uh, Oakland University, had a great theater adjacent to it called the Meadowbrook Theater. And I, it's still there across from Meadowbrook Hall. And uh, at that time, it was all of the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art uh, faculty and actors from <clears throat> Stratford, Ontario, New York and London. And uh, I was there at that time. You can read Dante Bedingfield's full interview with actor Robert England by searching on Freep.com for his article, Freddy Krueger actor Robert England recalls youth in Detroit before Comic-Con appearance. Find more from the Detroit Free Press on Freep.com. That's F-R-E-E-P.com. Thanks for listening, and you'll hear more from us tomorrow.